want to say. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, uh, I want you to forgive me because I came in late. I wanted to be here at one, but I have to supply and teach. Uh, I feel very passionate, and I'm sure most of you do, about the Great Lakes. I'm almost 69 years old, and uh, I have a great commitment to Lake Superior because I've drunk the water for many years, so I'm carrying a lot of whatever's in it. <laughs> now, I have great respect for academics, great respect for truth to power, and if you're volunteers, I have great respect for you. You are rearranging the chaise lounges on the Titanic. And I like that man's comment over there because he hits the nub of the problem. We have a problem, let's solve it. Let's not just keep talking about it. Now you're doing a job. God bless you, you have to do that job. But you do not have power. It's the people who have power and the politicians. And the politicians on the top are going to allow that damn car to come up that Mississippi River, wherever it came from, and cross over around Chicago in there, where all that water that belongs 50% of Canada is being drained into the Mississippi. And the Supreme Court of Illinois, the Supreme Court of the United States, is not going to divide those two basins. And that's what has to be done to prevent that damn carp from going up that river. And when are we going to do that? Who is the boss here?